we get ready for the 2017 moose hunt. Are you excited? I am. A little discouraged about the weather, but we'll see what happens. What's, what's up with the weather? The weather has been extremely warm. Unconditionally warm for the end of September. Highs in the 80s. We never see that in September. But that'll be our only downfall for the next three days. But after that, it's going to cool off a little bit. But it's still not as cold as it should be. But we're going to give it a try anyway. Let's do it. Big old main smallmouth bass. Caught it on a drop shot, about 28 foot of water. Chug my first pair. Oh my god, the first 15 minutes. We are excited. It's the very first morning of Dad's moose hunt. We're on the very first road where we have pictures of an absolutely slob of a moose. And we're probably a hundred yards in and it does not take us long and we hear a bull grunting. This bull's calling and he's calling pretty good, but the only thing is, is we got a stream between him and us and he's still probably five, 600 yards away. And another thing we're dealing with on this morning is the wind is swirling like you wouldn't believe. So it keeps switching on us and we keep having to move how we're getting set up and stuff. So we push on a little bit further down the road, hoping that the wind's gonna straighten out. So we keep moving, we keep working with this bull, and it's it's probably only about 6.30, 6.45 in the morning, and it's already 70 degrees. So our window to try to kill this bull is gonna be really, really short. Once it gets any hotter than that, he's probably gonna go lay down, and we're not gonna be able to, to call to him. So we're trying to work somewhat steady, but still slow, not try to push the bull, not try to overcall as we move down this road. This bull was calling to us quite a bit and I was calling, cow calling every once in a while but after about 15 minutes of waiting for this moose to make the move, he just completely shut up and disappeared. Just can't 
So dad and I meet up and we just kind of decide on what we want to do and we both decide to keep pushing on further down the road and we go probably about 75 yards and this bull starts grunting again. So we're pretty comfortable in this area. We scouted it pretty good. And instead of staying up on the road like we've been doing, we decided this next time when he shut up that we'd actually move down into the stream, get down in there with him, and maybe we can get into his comfort zone a little bit, make him feel a little bit more comfortable to come out to us. This stream is really, really hard to hunt. It, um, it Basically what it does is we're up on a road on a bluff and then it, it goes across the stream bottom and it climbs up another bluff and then it's another flat on the other side where the moose is. But on our side, we have about 75 yards of completely flat terrain, but we have grass that's in spots, it's way over my head and I'm 6'1", so it's seven, eight foot swale grass. <clears throat> goes down to the stream and the stream's probably 10, 12 foot deep. It's not just like a little stream you can get across. It's a pretty, pretty deep stream. And then it's another probably 100 and 150 yards of that same tall swale grass. So it's not exactly an ideal situation because once you get down in it, you really can't see. And um, basically what ended up happening is this moose would come out to, on his side of that little bluff, that little ridge, he would come to that and he would look down across the bog, not see us as cows being out there, and he'd work his way back to what I assume was a cow that he already had. So we get down in the stream, it's it's beautiful. It's still pretty early in the morning, but it's heating up fast. And I tried calling and I called my butt off, trust me, but we could not get this bull struck up again that morning. And, and we just kind of really sat down there and just tried to observe what was going on. And uh, we saw nothing. So we're having a pretty good morning, hearing a lot of bulls, but we haven't seen one yet. But. We're seeing a lot of good sign of them breaking branches, but another thing they're doing is they're making wallows. And what they basically do is they'll, anywhere where there's soft soils, usually in a swampy area, which this is not, um, but they'll dig up the soft soil, they'll get down in it, they'll pee in it, urinate in it, defecate in it, roll around in it, just to get real musty smelling for the cows. It's so dry that it's drying out real quick, but um, that's what these are, that's what these are, and that's what they're doing, so. It's a good sign that they're in here and they're rotting hard and it's probably it's probably one dominant bull in here um, just warning every other bull in the area that he's here and he's in charge but we're gonna keep at it it's only 7:20 in the morning so we'll see 
We are primarily bow hunting on this trip. That's our main goal, is to get him a good bull with a bow, but it's the first one in wins. This is a second chance with a tag, but regardless of what weapon that you hunt with here in Maine, you have to have one art of, article of orange. So that's why you see us walking around like pumpkins. We uh, legally have to have one article, but we also have sub permitting. So I'm carrying a rifle, he's carrying a rifle. And um, if the right bull comes in and doesn't give us a bow shot, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna put some rounds in it with a gun instead. So we'll keep at it. The rest of the day we hunted really, really hard. Uh, we tried a bunch of different spots. We tried to get off the beaten path and get deep into the woods where we thought maybe these moose might be going to to get out of some of the sun. And we never struck up another moose the rest of the day. And again, it was just, it was so hot that the moose were not moving. They weren't responding. You could get lucky and stumble upon one, but we definitely did not. And, uh, but I gotta say, at the end of the day, way, way, way more moose encounters and, and communication than I thought we were gonna have. So it's day one, we got five more days left to hunt and I'm looking forward to the rest of the week.